So I was, for the whole day, dealing with a very um, prominent, like, a uh, very evil, feminine, jezebel kind of energy. Like, not just from the light language reading, but even the pick a card readings. Um, and I'm still feeling the vibe. Like, usually I just ignore the energy, okay? But, uh, fuck that bitch. Let's, 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 let's expose the energy, right? Page of Cups. The Knight of Cups. Hmm... The Ten of Wands, exactly what I thought. <laughs> and the Ten of Cups, okay. The Wheel of Fortune. So this might be, you might be dealing with, um, also like, um, I kept I kept seeing in the pick-a-pile pick a uh, readings that the Empress card uh, uh, kept showing itself. I, I didn't place it upwards because I felt like it was significant. Uh, it, it, like, it kept showing itself upside down, and I don't read my cards upside down, okay? Uh, so you're definitely, this is also why I feel like I need to, um, this is also why I feel like I need to, like, concentrate on this energy. There was a frequency that you were dealing with, um, this, like, devil, again, I wanted to say this, this Jezebel energy, there was a frequency that you were dealing with that continuously gave you some kind of reassurance. Some kind of, like, it's like emotional gaslighting, spiritual gaslighting, um, to kind of have a hold in your consciousness to make you think that they have your best interest at heart, okay? This feminine energy thing, this devil energy thing, might have been the entity or the person that created a lot of, like, they would create a lot of chaos in your life. I'm seeing the tower as well, right? They would create a lot of uh, chaos in your life. And then when you're in this energy of trying to survive or trying to move forward or trying to drop the burden or trying to heal or something, they would come in and try and play this savior energy, right? I feel like this is your family. This is somebody in your soul family. This might be uh, your mother. This could be a masculine energy. I don't think so. Hence why I mentioned the feminine energy. Some of you are really dealing with an abusive um, gender Isabel spirit, okay? Now, that being said, I feel like since you became smart to this energy game, since you became savvy to this spiritual game, to this emotional Queen of Cups manipulation, as I'm saying that, Eight of Swords, since you became savvy to this person's energetic and emotional manipulation, your wheel of fortune started turning, okay? I feel like you can already feel the good energy. Like whenever that person's energy comes towards you, I feel like you already feel it alchemized into something so much better, right? You are about to receive some kind of wheel of fortune and ace of swords. Now, what this means is if you were being gang stalked or if you were being hurt or rejected or sacrificed or um, bullied by a community, by a family, by um, just this one person, it really doesn't matter. If you were being like uh, bullied in that sense via some kind of energetic, emotional, spiritual Stockholm Syndrome, this person is about to experience the full force of their own medicine. The only reason this person's energy and manipulation is no longer working is because you became savvy to the energy. And as soon as you became savvy to the energy, you realize that it is not medicine this person is giving you. And as soon as you realize it is not medicine this person is giving you, it's actually poison, this person had to start drinking it themselves. This person, this family, this community is about to come in with some kind of offer of peace. This community is about to come, this family, this person is about to come in with some kind of offer of... Um, <clears throat> A 
again, this gaslighting, it's this offer of like, uh, sh but shouldn't you just forgive? You should for you, you hear that, you should forgive me. No, you shouldn't forgive this person. Because if you keep forgiving this entity, this entity is going to keep poisoning you. So I feel like you're going to have some kind of closure. You're about to receive some kind of closure. I feel like you're dropping this burden with this family, this community, this wife, this mother, this... It really doesn't matter, okay? You're dropping this burden and walking into your Ten of Cups. Now, the closure you're receiving... <laughs> <laughs> like look see you're you're walking away into the ten of cups you're not you're not taking the ten of wands to your ten of cups right that's what this person or this thing wanted for you your closure is that this entity this person is gonna come with some kind of begging they're gonna come with some kind of like begging energy of like please don't leave or please forgive me i need you or something like that and your closure is going to be like, no, 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 I'm good. Let me just, let me just ascend past this bullshit. Let me drop that consciousness completely and walk into my own Ten of Cups that I created for my own self. By my own lonesome. I'm hearing for some of you, you might have been working for like years to escape a, a certain situation or something, okay? You're about to receive so much closure in being the one that's not just walking away, but also being the one that everybody notices that this person is poisoning them. And since you became savvy to the poisoning, the poison is no longer working on anything because it's a consciousness thing. It's an energy thing. Oh, at the bucket Ah, excuse me. <laughs> just releasing that cock energy quickly, just stretching it out. So part of this poison was making you think that not only was this person not the one poisoning you, but also that you don't care about being poisoned. <laughs> like part of the poison was making you so spiritually, mentally, emotionally <laughs> asleep that you wouldn't care. It's kind of like heroin or some shit, okay? But again, since it's just an energy thing, since you became savvy to this consciousness, you care now, and now everybody else cares. You understand what I'm saying? Now everybody else cares about like what this entity or this person has been doing, not just to you, but do them as well. So you're about to receive a whole lot of closure, okay? You're about to receive a whole lot of closure by being the one to tell this person uh, no. By being the one to, to break down this person's magic spell or magic potion or some shit like that, okay? You have the backing of Creator, hence why you have this Wheel of Fortune, okay? Uh, if you didn't have the backing of creator, you would have already been gone, okay? If you didn't have this, like, divine truth or this divine authority or something, I'm telling you, you would have been gone already, dead, okay? So, just know that God has your back, creator, the creator of everything has you. This entity that's been gaslighting the world, Knight of Cups, the world, <laughs> this entity that has been gaslighting the world is about to drink all of its own medicine all at once, okay, <clears throat> I'm getting something about like a, I'm not even gonna get into that, but dang. thank you so much guys, that was your reading, please do consider liking, subscribing, donating, contacting me for a personal reading slash session, fuck this bitch, Love you. I will see you again for another one tomorrow.